Oh, this none of it's changed. <laughs> none of it has changed. It's all still. Who's the worst now? Sheena, still, Zack Ryder, Buddy, Nevaeh. Mrs. Worldwide is 38th, which is is not good. Uh, but now let's look at the show. Um, a rematch from last week, Stang and Megaran, which uh, was very good. Now, boys, boys. <laughs> That's a this is another rematch Hold game. Hold on, no no no. We're we're going to rivalry compatible. We're going to do the exact same thing, but we're just going to do the opposite person. So, why can't I select Vlad? Why I should be able to select Vlad. Game, why are you not letting me select fuck? Well, it, I guess this is what the game wants for this rivalry. We'll keep it. Oh, he's here, Arthur Church. Oh, I forgot about Arthur Church. And then, what a fucking loaded triple threat. Mm -hmm. And then, Hell the yeah. champ is here in our main event, taking on Tiffany, who, uh, surprisingly, Mark plays not in her corner for this. That is interesting. Is Mark... Is he on the card tonight? Did yeah, I miss him? Yeah, oh, there right. he is. Yeah, he forgot he's in that yeah, triple yeah, threat. Yeah, start the show! We're doing the intro. Sorry, I got a call about someone who just said, Hello, we've been trying to reach you about your car insurance. And I said, Fuck you, and I hung up. Your car's extended warranty is about to expire. Oh, I'm sorry, are you doing a wrestling <laughs> show? <laughs> Never it's mind. okay, we'll take care of it. <laughs> Now, after last week, you know old Megaran is seeking some sort of revenge after Stang's brutal assault on him. I mean, Stang sent him to the crashing to the outside, forced him to tap out to the Scorpion deadlock, and Megaran is back, and he wants a fight. Megaran, I mean, he, uh, he's he got to get that win back after Stang's dirty tactics. <laughs> After, after all that after shit dirty that he pulled, stang. that nasty stang. Yeah, I'm not the stang that you remember, kids. I'm dirty stang. <laughs> all right, dirty stang <laughs> taking on Mega Ran once again. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing this week, we made sure there would be no bullshittery before the match. We kept these two men separated because let's not forget last week, Stang assaulted Mega Ran before that match, which led to his victory. This week, we said as even as it can go, but unfortunately, there it, it, it can't be perfectly even because you know Mega Ran is still feeling the effects of that beatdown from last week. Mm, that is true, but I think Mega Ren knows what to expect now from Stang. He's not gonna pull any punches, and he's not gonna uh, he's not gonna let Stang uh, use his gullibility as a, as an advantage anymore. Mega Ren is no longer gullible. That, I don't think Mega Ren was ever truly gullible, <laughs> although we did talk him into doing a live show with us in Vegas. All right, but oh, what? went for a clothesline, but Mega Ran stayed up, but ooh, unfortunately, Stang used Mega Ran's momentum as he came off the ropes to send him to the earth before just stomping away on his skull. As a matter of fact, uh, he is quoted as saying before this match, no more Mr. Nice Ran. That is right. Now, oh, wait a minute, gets back to his feet. Oh, but Stang, Stang is truly bringing everything he can. I think last week, Stang expected this to be over. Stang thought, I'm going to beat down Mega Rand, use him as a stepping stone towards a championship victory. But Mega Rand last week said, I will not be your stepping stone. As, oh, unfortunately, he just gets dropped with a DDT. Uh huh. Now, uh, not to say that oh, Stang oh, oh, oh. isn't an impressive competitor. Scorpion death drop! Scorpion death drop! Rolls him over! One! Two! Ooh, Rand kicking out once again. Mm hmm. Uh, 
Now, Beggar Ant's not going to fall for those same tricks, but like I was saying, uh, Stank is still a talented wrestler in his own right, so he could still pull a victory out over Mega Ant without any of those harsh tactics, without any of those greasy Stank tactics. That's right, and if he does, I mean, let's not forget, this rivalry will be over. If, if either competitor wins two in a row, we say, fuck this rivalry, we're moving on. And that may be... Indeed. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Stang's up! Stang's up! Barrel roll, and I don't know if you noticed that, he dropped him down onto the hardest part of the apron before dropping him straight down onto those mats on the outside. But, ooh, Stang fights back with a big head knocker. Oh, yes, staying right back up. Megaran throwing everything he's got at the wall and seeing what sticks That's to Stang's face That's paint. right, but unfortunately that did not stick. That pinfall attempt on the outside, Stang nearly kicked out of it immediately, but I don't know if he'll kick out of the Mega Drive right down onto the mats, falls into it. One, two, three. Boom, right out of the gate. Mega Ren, he was not here to play. Dropped a motherfucker on his back, won the day. That's right. I mean, also, you got to remember last week, Mega Ren felt how painful it is to get dropped down onto those mats. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, Stang tried for a sneak attack, but Mega Ren says no. Mega Ren takes him to the outside. Boom. He is like our ultimate baby face. Mega Ren is like <laughs> king of the crop when it comes to our baby faces. Yes, very true. All right, but now we move on to our me next match of the night. As a... All right. I'll be honest, I'm kind of excited to see this two weeks in a row. Because last week, Tekken Mike yep. wrecked his shit. That is true. Tekken Mike came out with a very impressive showing, but Alistair Bateman, he just found a way to put uh, old Big Fistin down. <laughs> and Big Fistin, he's not going to let it happen he again. He put the fist down. <laughs> All right. Once again, Tekken Mike and Alistair Bateman facing off, but oh, wait a minute. Hello, my friend, Big Fistin. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm here today to help you not, because I well, love you. Well, I mean, you. not only that, let's not forget having a, having Sammy Sin at ringside last week is definitely what spurned Alistair Bateman onto a victory. Perhaps the cheerleadering of Vlad Tankman could lead Big Fiston to a victory tonight. Or it may distract him as much as it distracts everybody else. <laughs> Boy, this game really is... Uh, Really is control like Monday Night Raw, isn't it? Hey, you saw you remember that match mm -hmm. from last week? We ain't gonna do it again. We just gonna do it again. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna switch the people on the outside of the ring out. Though. Yeah. Oh, that makes it different. He's trying to just choke the life out of Alistair Bateman. Oh, but wait, Bateman now managed to uh, swivel those hips, get that leg underneath him, and it allowed him to escape before oh locking him into a headlock of his own a lot more viciousness of a headlock though from Alistair Bateman compared to what Tech and Mike was able to do yes and it is all about control with Alistair Bateman he loves to have control over his opponents at any given moment in the ring and he he knows how to do it with some of these vicious vicious submission attempts that's right but you saw oh no he tried for the big fist but Bateman fought back Bateman fought back. Uh -oh. oh, and now, oh, there it is. The Iron Fist drags him to the center of the ring, falls into the pinfall. Oh, Tommy's struggling to get, get yep, to kick out. Yeah. But hey, if Tommy had got, if yeah, Tommy had got up to get up it out in time, that would have been a three yeah, count there for Tech and Mike. You, you know what, Scotty? I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're correct. All right, but wait a minute. Falls into it once again after delivering more. Oh, very weak kick out from Alistair Bateman. Something you don't usually see. Mm -hmm. Barely just got the shoulder up. He didn't even throw his arm out or anything. It's like he didn't have the energy. That is right. Now bringing him back is, uh, oh, wait. Oh, Alistair Bateman reversing that, uh, that attack from, oh, no, he went for a punch. But uh, you don't punch Big Fistin, but what you can do is spine bust him. Sp 
Spine bust the punch. Uh huh, but now look at that. <laughs> He's just doing a little sit. And look at Vlad. Vlad looks so proud. <laughs> It's like, yes, he is sitting. That is universal position. You cannot attack him. <laughs> Stop oh, it. Oh, and it allows that that momentary distraction allows him to just slam him with a suplex before dragging him to the center of the ring. It goes for the pinfall. One kicking out is Bateman. Ah, uh, Bateman, of course, still just showing the fact that he... He'll kick out of just uh, almost anything. That little, that little feisty <laughs> fuck. He's like a cockroach. That's right. Brings him back up. Oh, might have been trying to set up for the pedigree, but instead, Big Fisted stops him at the pass. And now you can see Big Fisted just observing his prey. Both of these men staring at one another. But no, no, he's got him. Pedigree rolls him away from the ropes. One, two. Ooh, barely last minute kick out there is Tech and Mike. Oh, Tech and Mike once again showing that he's not ready to go down. That's right. Now ch choking the life out of him is Alistair Bateman not relenting. The fury growing on Bateman. That is that kind of fury that has earned him a spot as one of the top tag teams in all of professional wrestling today. As Tech and Mike now wrenching over that arm. Bateman struggling underneath the mic. But ooh, some body, body shots takes him back. Where does give me that body? Oh, the strength of uh, Alistair Bateman. Oh, and look at Tech and Mike, though. After reversing that big, uh, big fireman's carry into a DDT, you can see Tech and Mike starting mm -hmm. to really feel it. Yes, uh, Tech and Mike doing uh, 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 some more flashy moves in this match instead of last week where we got we got a load of the punches. We got the king of strong style, Tech and Mike Tushwood. But unfortunately, he's getting spine busted once again. Alistair Bateman this week, uh, last week he, he came into that match not realizing just how dangerous of a competitor that Tekken Mike Tushwood was. This week he knows and he is trying to end this as soon as possible, but Tekken Mike clearly not letting it. No, Tech and Mike staying in it for the long haul for as long as possible, but that might not be for too much longer. That is right. Got the arms hooked. Pedigreed center of the ring. Goes for it. Hall! Oh, Tommy! Tommy, my friend. My friend, come here, Tommy. He sees, he did, there is a, a cockroach out here. I do not like it, Tommy. Oh, no. Tommy, you need to get better. Yeah, uh -oh. it looks like that distraction has just led to more punishment on the limbs of Tech and Mike Tushwood. Those long legs just getting injured there, worked over, but oh, sweeping the leg is Tech and Mike. Uh huh, Tech and Mike. I, I, I mean, he was able to uh, Whoa, to get fuck. out of it to try to recover. <laughs> Jesus H Christ, what a big slam to the face. Oh. See, that's all it takes from Tech and Mike's offense. He turns this around so immediately, and that is why Alistair Bateman is afraid of him. Because he knows that at any time, if that punch connects in the right place, he's going down. That's right. Well, he's going down quite literally right there before picking him up with that big iron fist before taking him into the ring. Tech and Mike. Oh, I thought he was going to throw him in the ring. Instead, threw him into the ring itself before plucking him out of mid-air. What is this? Oh my God, dropping him skull first onto the steel steps. Damn, son. Tech and Mike did not come to play. That is right, and now takes him into the ring before, what is Tech and Mike thinking here? Tommy, an account of Tech and Mike? Tech and Mike? What the fuck? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Did he realize the dark places he was going to and just didn't want it? Did he just... Did he... Was he going... Was he about to, like, actually iron fist him and he knew that he couldn't because he'd kill the man? Well, I mean, after he dropped him skull first down onto those steel steps, I mean, you saw the look on Tekken Mike's face. He he almost looked concerned for, for Alistair Bateman for 
I guess the person he was becoming, the kind of viciousness that Demon Ink was bringing out of him, and he just couldn't take it. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it, Tech and Mike. That's that is an understandable observation that you can make about yourself, and you used agency to yeah let Alistair Bateman win. You can see Vlad Tankman on the outside, not happy about it. The crowd. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold. On. We gotta reverse these. We gotta flip these around. Oops. Oopsie poopsies. But uh, Bateman with a victory, I guess. I'm. What's bad is I'm kind of intrigued. Like I gotta want to know where this is going. That is a yeah. But now. Arthur Church is here, and he's taking on a lumberjack. I'm gonna take this big beefy American <laughs> and show him what a what a big beefy Englishman. Can I do. really hope the Invisible Man comes out once again <laughs> to take on the lumberjack. I, I'm <laughs> upset. Why'd they pick Arthur? Why did we get old BB Butterfield in this one? Well, after that absolutely fucking baffling ending to that match, we now mo Did he just flip him <laughs> off in the most dramatic yeah. way? Fuck you, <laughs> says Arthur Church. So, oh, you're leaving? Fuck off. I mean, that's... Uh, I'm going to get a table. The, you want a ladder? Yeah, that's right. And this one, let's not forget, this is a TLC match, meaning that... That bullshit tech and Mike pulled will not play here. These two competitors are going to be in this match until someone manages to climb that ladder and get that briefcase. Oh, wait a minute. Look at these shots being thrown back to back over and over again. My God, Arthur Church is taking it to the lumberjack. This is this is we have we have done it. Scotty, we have created the epitome of big meaty men slapping me. Wait a minute. Is the lumberjack trying to tech and mic this? Jeremus! What? Jeremus the dope saying this will not end like that before tossing him into the ring. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lumberjack just said, oh, well, well if I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. Oh, we God. did set up Jeremus versus Lumberjack, didn't we? Jack, yeah. This just he makes just me want. He just punched the man through a table. <laughs> through a table, that is amazing. Um, this does make me want to see a tag team of Jeremus and Arthur Church called the Wizard and the Bruiser. <laughs> That's such a good name. Oh God. What are you thinking, Arthur? Arthur! My God! Arthur Church! Look at the strength! Onto the ladder! Onto the ladder! That was, that was no normal person he did it to either! <laughs> that was a fucking lumberjack! I love to fight and hold up big me men. Oh, but Lumberjack with a shot from that table puts him down. And now neither of these men really care about climbing that ladder, do they, huh? Oh, no, no. This is about the hurting, I suppose. <laughs> and it looks like Lumberjack's really trying to put the hurting right now on Arthur Church. But Arthur fighting back. Oh, sends him into that table. Oh, what is he thinking now? Might be trying to firmly plant him onto that table. No, instead. Oh, wait. Yep, there it is. Oh, fights out of it, though, is the lumberjack. These two big men are just g gushing to put one of them through a table. <laughs> they really are fighting with every bit of their strength oh, because they oh want to see that oh table break. Oh, instead, went for that beautiful forward roll. And now Arthur Church setting up that ladder, going to grab the Arby's $5 gift card we've put up there for them. Oh, fuck. I want Arby's now. Yeah. Be some good shit. Oh, but no, unfortunately, Lumberjack going up to meet him, going up top at Arthur Church. Oh, no. Blake, do you see? Do you see what I see? Yep. 
I do, I do. Do you think it'll happen? Oh, come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. You can do this. No. Fists. Both men trading fists, trading shots. Both men struggling oh. at the top of this ladder. Before Arthur Church, oh, eats a few shots of his own. Both of these men trading blows. Oh, uh -huh, but my lunch. shit. God. Yeah. No. Oh. You were so close to greatness, Arthur. I mean, that was amazing. Don't don't get me wrong. It was very good, Arthur. But also, there was a table there. If you if you wanted to win outright, you could have just done that through the that table. That is right. But the lumberjack already getting back to his feet. But is it too late? Is it too late? Climbing that ladder, though, going up to meet Arthur Church is the lumberjack. Oh, and now Lumberjack throwing in the shots. My God, the blows are vicious. Indeed, both of these men are un <laughs> unrelenting juggernauts. <laughs> I forgot how big Arthur fucking Church is. Church Damn is. it, Lumberjack, yeah. you were so close. Oh, fuck, man. But it doesn't matter because the Arby's gift card is going home with the Jack. Fuck yeah, I hope I get extra I sauce. I want extra horsey sauce, I demand it. Love me that horse red. My god, but Arthur Church putting on an absolute fucking display there as the lumberjack holds it. I'm getting Arby's. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna get these hams. <laughs> All right, now on to... Uh, I'm actually fucking so hyphy for this one. I'm so oh, pumped yeah. for this shit, dude. Oh, yeah. This is like, this is a clash of the titans. <laughs> this is great. I don't know who's coming out on top. I mean, probably Mark or Falcor if he can pin Atlas or Atlas if he can pin Falcor. Or maybe uh, Falcor and Atlas are just going to decide to team up and kill Mark. I mean, that is technically how it's worked in the past. The past, yes, that is very true. All right, Mark plays Falcor and Crush Atlas. Oh, Falcor wasting no time taking out both of these men. Of course, Falcor, you got to remember, JXT original is old Falcor. So, you know, he wants to bring it against these two newcomers who have already done. They've done things Falcor has yet to do in his tenure. Both of these men have held the JXT championship, which certainly says a lot about their tenure. You know, you don't have to rub it in. <laughs> but Falcor... We all get it. I mean, oh, wait, half and half suplex from Falcor leveling Mark Plays. A man who, I mean, let's not forget Mark Plays and Falcor. They have gone toe to toe more than once. Uh, absolutely. Falcor, of course, like not able to pull it, uh, pull one out over Mark Plays on multiple occasions now because of the sheer raw power that the purple hair brings to Mark Plays. That is right, but wait a minute, Crush Atlas now just tossing Mark Plays across the ring like a sack of proverbial potatoes as Falcor now... <laughs> Hooray! He's me! Hey, guess what? You know what? I'm going to get the little time as a crowd. Oh, and then hitting a beautiful drop kick as Crush Atlas being forced to roll out of the ring. But Mark plays with a beautiful kip up back to his feet as Falcor. Now, what is this beautiful hammer lock? Just trying to break the arm of Mark plays. But, ooh, Mark with those body shots. And then a massive headbutt. What? What? Oh, what? <laughs> Whoa! Well, they were locked with invisible chains for a second. <laughs> this became an invisible handcuff match for a minute there. Oh, oh, went for a clothesline, but Crush Atlas fighting out of it. Big kick. And I mean, let's not forget, both of these men have gone so hard against Mark Plays in the past. They have done so much, but wait a minute. Mark Plays is being told no. Was gonna get to the chopper, but instead gets an up, up, down, down for his troubles. Falls into the pitfall. Falcor, Falcor, Falcor. One, two. Oh, Atlas kicking out at the last minute. 
Uh, wasn't sure if Falcor was going to get there in time, but thankfully Crush Atlas didn't really That's need right, it. That's right, but Mark now bringing Falcor back to his feet. Ooh, and then delivering a big clothesline. And now we are down to Falcor and Crush Atlas. Mark plays being taken out on the outside as the Dragon picking up Atlas. Takes him into the turnbuckle as Crush Atlas now. But Falcor reverses. What inch dragon kick! Falls uh -oh. into the pinfall! Goes for it! One! Two! Oh, Crush Atlas barely getting out as Falcor. It's another half and half suplex on Mark and Falcor feeling the Falcor. fire and flames. Oh, Falcor going all out today. That's right, but you see Mark plays now. Oh, wait, Mark plays now being plucked out of midair and just slammed by Crush Atlas. And now they are all, they all just are doing moves and then taunting. <laughs> <laughs> Pinfall attempt now. One, two, kick out from Atlas. I think it's because they know that it's a triple threat because they don't want everybody to break the damn thing up. That's right. Now, wait a minute. Takes him into the ropes is Falcor. Uh-oh. We have seen this in the past, and it looks like Mark plays now, stopping the Thread the Needle DDT from happening. My God, that bastard. <laughs> But now taking him back into the ring, perhaps, is Mark Plays. But look who is waiting behind him. That's right. Cr crush. 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 Oh, Crush <laughs> taking advantage of the triple threat stipulation. Bringing in that steel chair. But Mark Plays immediately getting out of it before. Oh, no. Oh, uh -huh. no. Oh, no. Up, up, down, down onto the steel chair. Up, up, down, down on the chair. Oh, is he? Oh, but no, he saw that Falcor had gotten back up. He knew that Falcor. <laughs> Falcor went for a drop kick on Mark. Instead, Mark took Falcor like he was a bullet and sent him directly in to crush Atlas before perching up on that top rope. What is Mark Plays thinking here? Uh, he's po he's pointing his target out. He is waiting for Falcor to beautiful axe handle. Meanwhile, the unmoving Crush Atlas is now being pinned by Mark Plays. One, two, kicking out at the very last minute. Oh, I thought Mark might oh, have nice. been going for that uh for that chair instead. Oh, spine busts him down onto it. Oh no, you know what that Falls means. Falls in one. Two! <gasps> Crush kicking out! Kicked out of the spine buster. Maybe Mark should have gone for the full the full counter there, the whole the whole shebang after that spine buster, but no. Oh, what a kick to the back from Falcor, who picks up Mark plays. Oh, but Mark reverses, sends him into that turnbuckle. Falcor reverses. Big kick to the leg. Into Blue Dragon Bomb. Holds on one! Two! Oh, but Crush Atlas with a big kick breaking it up. Uh-huh, Crush Atlas, he was right there. He got up just in time to break that pinfall. That's right. They're, they, The shots are fast and furious in this one as Crush Atlas, is he setting up for the Crush 1-9? No, just, oh my God, driving that knee into the back as he now goes for a pinfall on the unmoving Mark Plays. Two. Oh, not even a two count before Mark can kick out. Uh-huh, Mark. He was just left there for a little bit too long. He was probably already recuperated up, and just up, waiting down, for his opportunity. down, <laughs> Mark plays, you oh, legend. Shit. Falls into it. One, two. So oh, Falcor tried, but unfortunately was just that millisecond too slow, and it allowed Mark Plays to once again pick up a victory. Fucking Mark. Man, <laughs> man is undefeatable. Man is absolutely fucking vicious. He said, hey, put me in a match with my last two number one contenders. I'll kill them both, and he has. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get somebody in here who we know can dethrone him. I don't know.
Call now. <laughs> B.B. Butterfield. Oh, but now on to the main event of the evening as the JXT Women's Champion goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the woman who uh, has fought for the title numerous times but never came out victorious in the form of Tiffany. Uh huh. Tiffany l wanting to look strong after Mark's victory there. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Uh, but sh she's gonna she's gonna have a hard time against Emily. Uh, and also because you're gonna. Be I'm there. here. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> All right, the champ in her first match since winning the title. Jesus H. Christ, Emily. Uh, okay. Ever since winning the title back at Money in the Dank from V. Galloretto in her first ever title defense and her first ever match in JXT. <laughs> Uh, yes, of course, after one of those um, wonderful, wonderful developmental title matches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Emily's boots looking dirty, needing to wash him away on the face of Tiffany. One kick out from <laughs> Tiffany, but uh, any other woman, I would say that's a bad move going for a pin for that early. With the fucking shit Emily has put on. Oh, my God. How <laughs> vicious she's been already. She's now saying, I'm yeah. going to break you. I'm like, no, nah, go for the pin. It's okay, babe. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. She needs to, she needs to hurt people now, especially That's Tiffany. right. Wait a minute. Tiffany just went for an SMG. She went for my move and Emily said, nope, blue bomb her. All right. That's right. Oh, might've been trying to set up for the stops, but Tiffany reverses into a beautiful shoulder tackle before picking her up, sending her into the turnbuckle. What's Tiffany thinking? Ooh, big forearm shot. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Tiffany, uh, of course, we cannot, we cannot, um, uh, we can't disparage Tiffany too much after uh, seeing her, uh, her victories in the past, although she's been working to try to reclaim that, uh, that same kind of position in the JXT. Uh, uh, pecking order. She's just not been able to get back to her, her heights of uh, post debut in the J1 tournament. Oh, but wait a minute. Look at this. Just wrenching back on the arm. Of course, Tiffany, let's not forget the unearned victor of the G1 tournament bought her way into winning that. Of course, Cat Viva being the true uh, true winner of the G1. But wait a minute, Tiffany. Ooh, went for a big splash, but Emily said no. Emily says no. Went for something. Reverses into an arm drag. Tiffany went for a shot. Emily went for a shot. Both of these women fighting tooth and nail to get this victory. Uh huh. Um, the trying to return to form is Tiffany and Emily. Meanwhile, trying to remain on top, a position that she. Rightfully never should have lost up into this That's point. right. Now going to that top turnbuckle. Emily Ireland diving off. Oh, no. Went for a beautiful oh. diving uh, sitting senton. But Tiffany dodging out of the way at the last minute. But Emily looks like it's not affecting mm -hmm. her. She's just going after her. Sending her back into the ring is the champ. Uh huh, and of course the champ tonight. She said she wanted a challenge. She said she wanted to fight a worthy competitor. Tiffany stepped up. That's right, but unfortunately, it looks like that competitor still fighting toe to toe with Emily. Big shot to the gut, levels her before. Oh, went for the clothesline, but Emily says no. Oh, and now this is the move that won her the championship. Those the stomp parade, just stomping away on the body of Tiffany before falling in one. Two, three. Fuck yeah, baby! Fuck, okay. Yeah, baby! <laughs> nice. Oh, no more momentum for Tiffany. Fuck that momentum, but there she is. The JXT Women's Champion going to the top rope to celebrate a well-earned victory tonight. The champ reigns supreme, ladies and gentlemen. All of the champs reign supreme. All of the champs won victories tonight. That is right. And there she is, your JXT women's champ. I thought something was going to happen. Because, <laughs> like, you, usually if there's no, uh, no replay, something happens. But nothing happened. No, that's fine. But let Let's see if she can hold on to that title in the future next time on JXT Pro Wrestling.